KiCad 9 is finally here and this update brings some major improvements that will make your PCB design workflow smoother, faster and more powerful than ever. Obviously as you know I'm working on a KiCad tutorial series at the moment and I'll be transitioning that series to KiCad 9 as well. As you can see my download is in progress. Yeah I've not tested any features yet but I'm going to get this installed and I'll show you all the new things that are in KiCad 9. So whether you're a hobbyist or a professional KiCad 9 is a very useful tool and it's packed full of useful features for PCB design. In this video, we'll go through everything that's new, what's changed, what's improved, and whether it's time for you to upgrade or not. So let's get started. Obviously, a PCB design tool is not the only thing you need when you're designing PCBs. It's also important to find a reliable, high quality PCB supplier. This is where PCBWay comes in, the sponsor for this video. They are a fabrication house for PCBs, but they can also turnkey assemble your PCBs for you. They offer other services such as 3D printing and getting a quote from them is very easy. You just fill in your details on their quote page, which is on the screen now, and they give you a estimate of the cost and you can request a quote for assembly right there as well. And I do share my projects on here as well, so please check them out. A big thank you to PCBWay for sponsoring this video. Please check them out. They are a reliable and high quality supplier for PCBs. Now back to the video. So while KiCad is installing in the background, let's have a look at some of the new features that are available with the version 9 release. So first of all, we got a job set. Um, this tool, this feature was available in Altium as far as I remember when I used to use Altium a few years ago. And it basically lets you create a predefined job list so you can create your output for your PCB and your schematic with the click of a button. So we're going to test this out, see how well that works with a PCB design that I'm working on at the moment. So embedded files, I'm not entirely sure what this does, but um, it lets you have a standalone project that does not rely on any external libraries, I think. We'll have to test this out in a bit more detail. So we've got multi-channel support, basically where you can take a copy of a circuit and just repeat it many times. As you can see on the screen now with this video that's playing. Now this is a very interesting feature and I think it's very similar to how Altium does classes as well. So you can draw a little box around your components and give it a class, whereas at the moment you have to give classes to nets. So this will be interesting and will make assigning net classes to tracks and components a little bit easier. Component class attaches to the component itself, whereas at the moment they are only assigned to the nets. And next we have a table which we can add to our schematics. Now this custom ERC DRC errors, I seem to remember using that in um, KiCad 8 already. So I'm not sure what's new here. Obviously we'll have to explore that further. Maybe now it's part of the components because I used to add ERC errors and DRC errors on the kind of the PCB design file itself. And that was to help me remember if I need to do something that I've put off for a later time. So now that KiCad 9 is installed, let me have a look at the project I'm working on at the moment. Hopefully nothing breaks in my project because I need to get this made and I think I'll create a backup before I do this. Yep, so my design has not been affected. All the 3D models and everything that I added is still there. This is coming out in another video very soon. Now I want to first of all look at the job export because I think that is the tool I'm most interested in. Here is the table feature that we were looking at. So if you remember in the KiCad series, in the schematic, we obviously have a table over here. So let's see if you can turn this into the nice table for using the feature that we just saw. So this table is useful. Um, obviously, I'll need to play around with it a bit more to understand how it works properly. But you can do multiple edits like this. So table, a useful feature. Um, the main thing I'm interested in is the job file. I'm not sure where to find it. In order to create a job set file, you basically go to file, new job set file over here. I'm going to add it to my project and call this outputs and press the OK button. You see over here, you've got a new interface and in here you've got jobs. You can go to the editor or you can go to the jobs file. Press the um, plus button over here. So the first thing I want to do is export a PDF. I want that in A3. First job, do the schematic drawing. See if I can edit that. I want to do that on outputs. Press OK. I'm just going to try this out. So let's basically, so generate all outputs and let's see how that did. So I've created a backup of this. We've got SD card reader. We've got a folder in there called uh, outputs. It creates another folder, outputs. So something to be careful with. You need to add in the PDF extension. But you can see it's got the schematic uh, printed out for us. So I'm going to try this for everything else. Um, let me just rearrange this so that I get rid of this. Schematic.pdf. 
let's save that so now i'm just gonna add the uh, rest of my jobs let's see how that works so i want to export a 3d model it's gonna press the ok button i want to export the gerbers which is going to be this one over here obviously i need to select all my layers and directory i want to basically have press ok i'm just gonna test this uh, after saving it make sure it works you can see all my uh, Gerber files I've exported. I've got our step model over here. I've got my schematic. Um, one of the things I like to do is also print out a copy of my schematic on PDF. So we do have that option over here. So basically I want to press OK on that. And the only layers I want that is FFAB. And I want the drawing sheet on that one. I want edge cuts and drill marks, actual size. Let's try that. I'm going to call this assembly drawing pdf and press ok save the job generate the output so it's like i made a um, error in here this is basically the folder rather than the file name so when i do this um, using um, keycad itself as a single operation here's what i expect the drawing to look like so basically i go into here do print i select my fabrication layer my edge cuts and print preview and you can see i get a nice assembly drawing now it's mirrored it shouldn't be mirrored and you can see i get a nice assembly drawing like this is this is basically what i was after i'm not sure if this is possible at the moment on the jobs file because the options are a little bit limited in terms of what you can do but maybe it's one of these so i'll need to explore that further but we are able to generate gerber files um renders p uh, schematic pdfs bill of materials basically this will make it a little bit easier to generate the output files for my projects going forward so a very good feature and i hope they continue to improve on this um, i'm probably not using it right but i do i would like a feature where i can generate an assembly drawing as well now generally i do that with a printed out pdf but maybe there's a, some other way of doing it in here so i realized how i can do this basically instead of include layers i should be using plot on all layers so i want to plot the fabrication and then i want to plot the edge cuts so if I do this, I should get um, the drawing that I'm after. Uh, I want to have the drawing sheet in there as well as my drawing template. Single document in color, that's fine. So I'm going to press OK on that. And then I'm going to delete this one, delete this one, delete that one, save the job set and generate the outputs. Now I'm hoping this will have generated the PDF file that I was after. So that's that's perfect that's exactly what i was after i mean i think i'll probably do it in black and white so that this comes out a little bit better um because i think at the moment i've done it in color so we can try that so let's modify this let's change that to black and white press ok save the job set generate all outputs now you can see this is generating my schematic it's generating a 3d model it's doing the gerbers and it's doing my assembly drawing so it's handling every single thing that i need to um i will try out the bill of materials as well and there we go this is my assembly drawing that i wanted to generate uh with one click so very happy with that it's a very cool uh tool it's also got the no place parts on it as well so now finally let me try the bill of materials so plus again i'm going to go to my schematic and do a generate bill of materials press ok i do have a preset already so i'm going to use that press ok and it's added a job list over here so save the job set and generate all outputs before i show you generate all outputs let me delete everything in this folder so what i'm going to do is save the job set and generate all outputs so you can see it's generated my gerbers it's generated my model it's generated my schematic drawing it's done my bill of materials i don't have a separator on this at the on this template at the moment so that's fine and it's also done my assembly drawing so very cool so it's done a smart drawing as well so i can basically track my components as well which is really cool so yeah i'm very happy with this um, job set feature that's been added with keycad 9 and i can't wait to learn more about it and use it in more detail basically so we've looked at the job set so one of the features we've not looked at at the moment is embedded files this lets you obviously create a project that's kind of self-contained in terms of all the files and everything um i'm not sure how we do that but we can explore that feature a little bit more um at the moment but obviously doing that for this video will be a bit too long but it does sound like a cool feature because when i used to use KiCad about six years ago the projects did fail quite a lot when transferring between computers and things because some files would be missing so i'm looking forward to that and i will be using this feature on all my projects so that they don't break the bezier curve tool and all editors so never really needed to use this feature but i'm sure there's a lot of people who make interesting shapes who will want to use this feature i'm not sure what happened 
but maybe I found a bug with KiCad 9 in that all my components have disappeared. But let me just try reloading this and see if it if I can bring it back. I mean, this might be something I've done, but all the components have disappeared. Ah, there you go. For some reason, everything was hidden. I'm not sure I didn't hide everything. So yeah, it's doing something weird, but that might be because of the way I generated the files or something from the job set is affecting my appearance in the objects tab for some reason. Um, so yeah, obviously KiCad 9 is very new, so expect some bugs. So let's just have a quick look at this embedded stuff. So the Bezier curve tool, I think maybe mainly for edge cuts and some graphics on your silk screen maybe obviously that's gonna break my pcb but you get the point so you can basically make things like this and then change it after the fact as well yeah i'm not sure what i'm trying to create here but interesting feature i think you know it will help me out in the future multi-channel design for anything i do i've never really needed this but i'm sure it'll be useful for people who do kind of repeated designs for certain things so yeah, very good feature over there as well. Now we can look at component classes. So obviously I have this board over here. I'm gonna to go to my schematic and I'm gonna do a class. So draw rules area, basically let's try it out. And it's got a very similar feel to Altium, which is which is great. And then maybe I can assign, let's see what um, class I've assigned to this, uh, micro SD. So I'm just gonna get a class, call it USD. And we can also assign a component class with this but you can see all the tracks have changed to pink and if i get rid of this um only these are pink which is what micro sd class is at the moment just down here but everything inside this changes to that class obviously the component doesn't um i'm not sure how it, the net classes on components would help maybe we can help keep clearances on the other side from let's say we want to keep a clearance from uh, another component or something like that but we can assign a component class to this i've not used component class before Four. So if you go to our board that's set up and uh, net classes, component classes are not here. If I go to my schematic and obviously I've given this a net class. Now what you generally do is you can go to your board setup and you can create custom rules for your net classes. So we have micro SD and you can see the component class that I just created is not there. So I'll need to look at this feature in a bit more detail before I can explain it to you guys. This mouse scroll wheel action will obviously be very useful when creating new components. So yeah, that'll make our um, life a little bit easier in terms of um, creating new components. And also if you're doing um, buses as well, which I don't do much of, but again, a very useful feature added to KiCad 9. This tool is going to be very useful because one of the frustrations with using hierarchical designs in um, KiCad is that you have to go backwards and forwards to kind of assign to get pins into and out of a hierarchical design into like where your root file is. So this tool, I can't wait to use a bit more of and we'll see how it works. I really like the net class rules area, which we've already explored. Reusable design blocks. If we can create our own uh, schematic blocks, that'll be great in terms of like, let's say USB-C connector and associated like the 5K1 resistors, which I use on almost every project and also let's say tp4056 battery charging circuit which i've used quite a bit so if i can create design blocks for that that'll be really good um so again another feature that i'm looking forward to using a bit more now this is really good um i did not like changing colors of the tracks but highlighting the colors is brilliant so i'm, I'm going to use this feature quite a bit so if i go to my project for the esp32 drone where i'm doing the uh tutorial series on in there i basically recently created created this net class for the 5 volt line so i'm going to go in there and try out this feature now so instead of the blue color i want it to be a highlight so in order to do that there should be an option here to toggle this into highlight rather than um, changing the color of the track itself now if i go to here there should be a tick button on the interface but as you can see on mine there isn't so maybe this is a bug or maybe it's not been implemented on windows yet hopefully i'm in the right place to do this it does look like it looking at the menu option here so you got the so you got general formatting so i've got all the right um labels over here but i don't have this highlight net colors label as soon as i do i will be using that feature because i don't like changing the color of the wires uh, at all now there are a ton of other smaller changes as well so please check it out and in a few months I will let you know how I get on with KiCad 9, what features I like the most, and whether you should download it or not. Obviously, I think you should download it and try it out for yourself because KiCad is awesome. So, thank you for.
for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed the kind of a scattered walkthrough of KiCad 9 and its features. And you basically saw the features as I did because this is the first time I'm using KiCad 9. So sorry the video was a little bit messy. But I'll come back with a organized video and tell you my final opinions on KiCad 9. Obviously you know KiCad gets updated very frequently. So there'll be some more changes coming very soon I'm sure. Thank you for watching today. Bye for now.